Okay, so in this video, I'll be talking about um, the visual styles of your walls, and also um, I'll discuss with you the material graphics. So if we go to our um, Revit project, now that we have the spaces partition, um, but you'll notice that there's no much of a difference between the material composition that we can view, and the reason for that is because our visuals. Um, our actually sorry our um, detail level number one is set to course so if you want to view more information make sure that you set this to fine and automatically you'll see that now there is a difference there's a clear difference between the layers making up these different wall types uh, also our visual style is set to shaded so if sorry it was set to um, hidden line now if you want to introduce color make sure you select either consistent color or shaded um, usually I go with consistent colors um, okay so now we can see there's a color associated with each of you know each of these walls um, now the other thing that I want to talk about is you know the material um, basically the material graphics uh, not just the graph the material graphics but also the identity the appearance physical and the thermal properties of the material so let's start with identity first so in this tab if I click on it I have my material so the material name it's exactly the same as what you will see in your project material library uh, class is generic you can add comments keywords you can associate a cost with that material as well so you can build up your own um, you know cost library within Refit. Now the other tab is your graphics tab and over here you can play around with the color so what color you want this to be displayed in your project. Um, you can also select a surface pattern so you can have you know um, you can have that sand dense pattern associated with your wall but you can also um, you know we can pick that use some plaster and if we select OK um, so click apply um, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that but uh, So try to zoom in. Um, uh, cause maybe it's because uh, the layer is just too small, but you see that hatched uh, sort of uh, pattern. This is what you would get out of you know um, out of playing around with your with your gypsum. Uh, you just sim appearance right so the, sur the surface pattern um, usually this is more evident in concrete so you'll notice that if you were to insert concrete uh, a change will happen um, now if we look at our appearance uh, tab you know the color uh, the glossiness you can play around with all of these uh, properties physical so you get your know, mechanical information uh, also just some generic information and then thermal properties and this is important when it comes to uh, conducting your sustainability analysis which we will discuss uh, in some later videos.